First of all, I want to thank you for your time. Thank you. Uh, I brought a couple of gifts for you for coming oh. here for you. Uh, they're both Gracias. like uh, Venom yeah. and Rush Guards. Gracias. So you're here in Mexico to to promote your new movie, mm -hmm. Venom. The last dance are, yeah. are you liking the city i'm loving it yeah yeah it's great it's great yeah so first day we went to the wrestling yeah. the luchador oh, wrestling and then the next day we had it last yesterday we had a really big uh fan event and uh there was about eight thousand nine thousand people yeah i've never seen so many people and they're lovely people and then today i've spent um did some interviews but uh, we met some dogs from a shelter animal shelter like but older oh, dogs okay. that are trying to find homes yeah, yeah. and i met you 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 maybe are taking one home <laughs> I, I would love to i have i have so many dogs i don't think i could have i might <laughs> that's really sweet no. so you're feeling the mexican love from the people yeah and the, yeah. and the, yeah the people the food the country I've only seen Mexico City, so I'd like to see more, but I really Hopefully like it here. You can. It's your first time here in yeah. Mexico? Oh, amazing. Sorry, uh, this, this is my first time interviewing someone, so... Oh, no worries. Like a superstar. For Kelly, it was her first, her debut, mm -hmm. and she's your best friend. How does it feel uh, for you as a friend to be along her in such an important moment? Um, it's, it's huge. I've known Kelly since... Well, we grew up in the same neighborhood, but we didn't know each other as kids, and then we met when I was working in the theater and Kelly was writing, she was writing through the theater. And uh, I was in the beginning of my career, I was about 20 years old. And we met in a, a pub theater where I was, we, we, we used as a gym for people who are out of work, writers, actors, just to keep their hand in and train, you know, and, and get better at their craft. And I met Kelly and she's so good. So we started writing um, shows together. She's a writer. I, I, I come, I make up stories, but I can't write. My dad is a writer. Oh, cool. She's so I like, I know writers, yeah, but you know I'm not that. one, but we get on really well. And uh, her career and my career, I, I mean, as an actor and her as a writer, we sort of branched out. And then we first, the first time that we, we make up TV shows and try to sell them and learn. And then I did Bronson and she came in and wrote all the, the dialogue. And I did a film called Bronson that she, she wrote. And then after that, she came in on lots of projects where I needed help. So she would come and find me. And meanwhile, she was doing Saving Mr. Banks. So she was creating Terra Nova for Steven Spielberg. And she, she had her own prolific career as a, a, as a writer. And then Venom One came in. And she I was like, screen, well, I needed, wrote, she came in and then she wrote, we wrote that. And then she wrote the number two. She, she produced the first one, but she came and helped that. And then the second one, we, we wrote together and she, she wrote a screenplay and then she produced that with Hutch Parker and then the third one she stepped up yeah, and now she's directing. she's directing and this is her first movie yeah I know like no, no short movie no Straight advert no music just yeah the last dance. yeah big That's really nice. big yeah, yeah so I'm so really good. proud of her oh. because it's not easy and she's done an incredible incredible job and she loves she loves Venom like I do and so it's her it's her baby so I think it's like kind of like contrast that it's her first film mm -hmm. and my last Director, uh, it's your last <laughs> yeah, uh, character. How do you feel about uh, this last installment when you say goodbye to this character? Well, I don't think I will ever say goodbye to the character because we, luckily enough, second person because... Um, what's the name of the young man who played um, Venom? It's just my brain is fired in Sam Raimi's. I was the second person to play Venom. Okay. So for me, like to have three movies with him, he's, he's my character. Yeah, so I'll never leave him. He'll always be... But also, you're like the first one to be like... Like the other guy was Venom. Topher like Grace. A, Topher Grace, yeah, yeah. Okay. He in, was the first. In like Spider Man movies, right? Yeah, Sam yeah, Raimi, yeah, yeah. You are like the Venom from his own movie, right? So, yeah. so you will always have Venom close to, to you, right? Yeah, like, because we, we, I got there to play him in the origin story in the Venomverse. Yes. And we always knew there was, we were going to do three. Okay. films and, and slowly we got bigger and bigger with them okay. so at the same time it's sad to see something finish it's really beautiful to see something from very a seed to a big cool. to a tree you know and it's, and it's healthy and this is the best one it's, it's got so much color so many different characters in and uh, it's a much fuller fuller okay. film i think some of your movies there are some like maybe i'm looking too much into it but uh, there's kind of like some degree of grappling, like no, there's, right, yeah, yeah. there's one where kind of a rear naked choke, you mm -hmm. don't get the hooks in, kind of to make it look more organic, and then you go for like a single leg and you a bike. Oh, oh yeah, in the bike riders, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, I was wondering if those beats are like you going to the director and being like, I want to do this, or like you are the one putting jujitsu in there, or it's like someone else. Uh, I think it's a little bit of, of both. 
goes. I think with that fight, uh, the bike riders, there was a, the, the, it's a choreographed fight. Yeah. The, it starts off with punches and striking, and he's a very big man and a small man. And then he throws the small guy into the mud, and it's over. And then he stands over him. And so this is a perfect, uh, perfect like for entry for X card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's 1960. You can't, yeah, you <laughs> no, can no one knows it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, I was like, well, I have to grab the leg yeah. to get close. So I guess this is yeah. logical. It's like, yeah, but it's also like logical because you train, right? Like, but yeah, but also if you think maybe it's logical so I don't get kicked. Yeah, also. Okay. So I hold on, you know, so he, you know, you know, people don't think that, you know, they might hit me on a hammer fist, but I wanted to get close. And I knew I had to snap his finger. That was in the script. Yeah. Uh, so the bite is, the, the bite was extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because the leg is there. Right, and yeah, and yeah, then he would put his one. hand on my face and then, so, <laughs> so it was, you, yeah, you play with, yeah. we play with it. But all of these things are normally choreographed. And yeah. a lot of stuntmen who are work with the stunt choreographers like Jake Tamuri, who I love, you know, he knows that I love Jiu Jitsu, so I can't kick. I can punch a little bit, but I'm not a fighter. So I think but, they go, you understand a little. Maybe. You even fought yourself, right? In one movie. That Jakey again, yeah, 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 yeah. In, in legend, yeah. yeah. But this is slap boxing yeah. and punching. I like, to, I, I like to, I like play fighting. Okay, so yeah. is there a, like fighting like that in Venom? I saw a bit and there was like, when you were underwater, but apart from that... Yeah, uh, the stuntmen, okay. they know I like jujitsu, so they choke me, yeah? Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's always, I think because people know that I like to play, yeah. they feel more comfortable when they play. And so they also understand that Tommy is never going to be a kung, like kung fu karate. Yeah. This is no good for Tom. Okay, so they <laughs> Maybe will throw like punches. It for you. Yeah, yeah, my head, my elbows, yeah. you know, like <laughs> grabbing. Maybe oh, a little bit is influence. A little bit, okay. uh, And also I try to look, but there's not, uh, there are a lot of videos of you of doing jiu-jitsu, it was like a hit news. There are many interviews. What got you into jiu-jitsu? How did you come in contact with the It sport? was late, late in my, I was, um, it was very late in the day. Um, I, was, I was 40, so seven years ago. And I trained to get big or small for a film, but on my own, you know, like very lonely, boring. Yes. And you just change, and it's not good for your body. And there's no people, there's no game, you know? Yeah. Uh, and so I'd go to this, and there's a club at the end of my road, and the guys were all jiu-jitsu, and then and they have uh, kickboxing and boxing, and I, I thought I'd try a bit, but I've always been a bit um, nervous of the fighting martial arts yes. community, because I thought, well, that's, this is for them. For me, um, I don't think I belong. Okay. Maybe a bit scared, uh, yeah, well, I, 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 nervous. Normal. Yeah, I, I didn't feel like, uh, I didn't feel that maybe it was for me, because I was intimidated, maybe. Um, you're definitely intimidated. I didn't have the courage. But then I got older and I was like, well, I really like to try. And my co I, I was training just weights in this gym and a bit of boxing. And they said, you, you, you know, come and have a go. You know, and I did. And then they were really nice. Yes. <laughs> people are nice. Yeah, people are and then I started to nice. enjoy the community. And then it gave me a, a level of, of, of confidence, honest confidence, because I always get beat, beaten. But that's okay. Yeah, the, 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 it. But I kept turning up. It's really important. So you're never going to be the best. Um, it's impossible, yeah. but you can be better than you, you were by coming, just coming. Yeah, and there's well, nothing to be scared of. Yeah. You know? And then what I realized was that everybody there who I thought was scary w w weren't really different. You know? Really friendly. Also. Yeah, yeah, like oh. dogs. You know, it's like it's, it's a nice. much yeah like the a friends club. Yeah. yeah, and so now and then it's take. Now it's uh, it's more of a meditation or a relaxing. I have no competitive, the competitive spirit. Okay. Uh, yes. I don't need to win. To have a, a good time. Yeah, I don't need to win. I don't care. You know, yeah. I like, I like yeah. to. Play, I like to, play for. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think that you know, with, with the work that I do, is very, it can be very competitive. Yeah. yeah, and you don't want everything in your life to be so. No, so and I think it's good to start at the bottom and be yeah. be shit at something. But if you keep going, you, yeah. you get better. Now I don't know if I've got better, but I know when somebody new comes to the club, I know that I can make them feel a bit safer <laughs> you know what I mean? they, yeah. so that's cool is it hard to mix you two with uh, your job you're like one of the few actors that train like with the whole class that you even yeah. compete uh, i know that you even had one of your knee surgeries was because two. Both yeah. Were because of, oh, <laughs> yeah, i yeah, thought yeah. that only one yeah no no the, no <laughs> yeah, like, i thought one was from something else and one, one was from a sweep and the other one was from actually it was it, the, the meniscus meniscus yes. test so, yeah. so it's hard to mix it with acting or it's, it hasn't been that hard. You got some trouble like you go to a shoot. Oh yeah, like this. Like, with, ah, like it's, already, yeah. <laughs> it's already gone, no. It's, it's done, it's finished. Like my yeah. nose is, is gone it's from gone. from boxing okay. and this. Um, so maybe a black eye, maybe the teeth, you know. Okay. But no, no. Uh, no, I do do jiu-jitsu like um, maybe two, three times a week when I'm filming, but you have to go after 
okay. or before. But no, we keep it up, and then the weekends, and I like the kids' class. Oh, so, you help with the kids' class? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I, like, as a, as I assist. Kids, that will be like, they will be so lucky, like, to have, like, Venom or... Yeah, or but... Ben, they, like, he's helping me with, with it, my Jiu-Jitsu. It's, it's funny, because at the academy, like, uh, like they don't... They focus on no, the sport. Do, it's like... It's the sport, you know, and a, and a, co and a professor. Yeah. So it's cool. Okay. It's a really cool place to be because okay. no, nobody really... But sometimes, yes, yes, but only maybe after class. Yes. But if they say something, the professor says, well, like, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. okay. One last question, uh, not so much related to Jiu-Jitsu. Is there any of your songs in Venom 3 like it was in Venom 2? No. No? This time? And no. that time... And they're cross with me. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Maybe, yeah, maybe I have to do another Venom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. that's everything. Thank you very Thank you, much man. for your time. For Thank you very much. Me. No, yeah. it's a pleasure.